Hey everyone, this is Kodemic, and this is a quick tour of my Polaroid EE100 Special. That's right, this sure is a special camera, and I can't wait to tell you some stuff about it. Uh, the Polaroid EE100 Special came out in 1977, and it wasn't produced very long. It's the second generation of Polaroid's pack film cameras. It kind of has that older style look. That's what really drew me to it. This was actually my, uh... Um, first Polaroid camera, I got this at a local antique shop, and what I really liked about it was this older style folding, I don't know what you'd want to call that, but uh, it just, it's a really classic looking camera, it's in great condition, and it still works. I actually have some Fujifilm 100C film in it. Uh, how it would work if you were taking a picture is obviously you have the uh, range finder here, the lens, um, you'd set your aperture and all that, uh, you can actually set the distance, so anywhere from, uh, three and a half feet up to, uh, 30 feet and unlimited feet, so you can obviously shoot a few, uh, miles away with this camera. Mm, I don't know if that turned out too well. Um, and then as meters above that, uh, the fancy lens, color-coded, let's see, what's that say? Polaroid... I actually never read the lens before, that's kind of interesting. Um, similar to the uh, Polaroid One Step Close-Up that I've reviewed before, this is the uh, light and dark switch, so obviously if there's a lot of light, you're going to have it set to that, uh, the white, and if it's very dark, you're going to have it set to the uh, black circle down there. You may be wondering what this big plastic thing that kind of sticks up across the uh, side there is. That's actually the uh, flash cube mount. You could put in standard flash cube sizes, and it would just mount in the here you twist it. And when you trigger it, it would obviously flash, and that may or may not help the picture develop. Uh, again, you push down to focus, and then all the way opens up the aperture and exposes the image. The light travels through here, and obviously the uh, actual film inside gets exposed. Uh, what I typically do is after you take the picture, I let it sit in the camera for about a minute, and then you'd grab this kind of paper tab on the side and pull the film out. Uh, let that sit for another two to five minutes, and then you kind of peel off this waxy paper, and your photo slowly develops over the next hour. It's a really cool camera to see uh, work, but the film is rather expensive for it, so I don't really want to demonstrate. Uh, looking at the back, um, to open it up, you undo the latches back here, and here's obviously some step-by-step -step instructions from Polaroid. Let me try to lift this lanyard up. It came with the lanyard, by the way. Uh, step one, focus. Step two, take the picture. Uh, this is kind of cool, you can see how it actually works. Uh, step three, you know, you pull the tab, like I said, I don't know what they're doing in four. Then it's saying, you know, to wait about an hour for it to develop and keep it in mild temperatures, normal room temperature. In step six, you can see you're kind of pulling off the negative of the image, and your picture will be nice and ready. The pictures turn out pretty well. The film I got is kind of old, so the pictures can be washed out at times, but it's still really neat. Uh, the pack film is more of a square shape compared to the uh, iconic Polaroid, you know, black back square and a big white piece of paper, but still very cool. One of my favorite cameras I have, definitely unique. You can pick them up between f uh, 20 and $50. They're a little harder to find. You can find a lot of the EE100s, but the special edition is a little more rare. But again, very affordable camera if you're trying to get into it. Uh, if you want to take daily photography, if you're trying to get into Polaroid photography, I wouldn't really recommend this as a daily driver. Uh, the film is a little more expensive, and uh, the Impossible Project doesn't really support the uh, pack film as much as the uh, normal one-step close-up type film. Uh, the only thing that's broken on this camera is one of the uh, side hinges here. Uh, it should be up a little more. Oh, let's see what side. 
yeah one of these screws is missing on this side so it kind of lays funky but uh, so you just kind of need to hold it to support it uh, one other thing let's just look through the viewfinder and you can see you kind of have a uh, smaller square for focusing in there so this has been Codemic with a quick tour of the Polaroid EE100 Special. Uh, I definitely recommend picking one of these up to uh, add it to your collection. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, favorite, like, and uh, if you have any recommendations or anything, just let me know. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon.